You think the next part of the story is gonna be about you, Bad Dog? It's probably gonna be about Bad Dog. Let's go see what else is going on. I don't know if it'll continue right off the bat, or we have to switch scenarios. We'll see. Hazard. We can continue. That should probably be fine, right? I forgot what the scenario was called, but it seemed to imply that we will be going through some info about Bad Girl and that I'm kind of interested in. You know, sometimes people ask me, why go so far as to use a bat to kill your targets? It's my gimmick, you see. Me, I don't get why I should be using anything else. It's not like I've been using a bat since I was a kid, so I'm just used to it or it's whatever. It's because when I grab a bat, everything after that just comes naturally. And I can act on instinct. I, I mean, he was a baseball player. Like, it, it, yeah, he's used to it. So why are people even asking? All I gotta do when I find my target is zero in on the center and hit it with the bat's sweet spot. If that target happens to be some dude's head, and that head's owner gets cured of breathing real quick. For me, it just don't work with anything besides that. That and people make requests. People asking me to please, oh please, take some guy's head off with a bat. The world is full of varying types of people with varying types of needs. Now asking someone to kill a guy with a bat? I wouldn't go so far as to say it's major, but it's not exactly a minor kind of need either. When Charlotte disappeared, it was right around the time I'd gotten used enough to this job to spout wisdom like that. So did Charlotte disap- mm, I guess we'll see. She was all grown up, so I wouldn't have been surprised if she was out fucking around with some asshole. Her dead mom and I were like that back in the day. But that wasn't exactly what was going on. One day, I get a video sent to my phone. And so I hit play on this weird, mysterious-ass video. Charlotte vs. Bogart. First, there's this huge, fat fuck standing there holding a chainsaw. Facing him is some broad, all dressed up in some kind of weird costume or something. It's Charlotte. Charlotte's holding a bat in her hands. The one-on-one -on -one battle kicks off. I was right about her fucking with some asshole. But I didn't mean this, well. But I was expecting a different kind of fucking. The fight starts and Charlotte throws a bat all of a sudden. Throws the bat all of a sudden. I don't remember ever teaching her to, to how to fight by throwing your precious bat. In fact, I never actually taught her how to fight in the first place. I learned from you, Dad. The spinning bat landed a clean hit right in the big fat fuck's left leg. While he's bent over in pain, Charlotte goes over and picks up the bat. Then she swings the bat all the way back like a golf club. Bat Boy's head shakes like it's gonna pop off, and his teeth fly right out of his face. I laugh my ass off. Charlotte moves back in to follow up. She brings the bat down on the crown of Fat Boy's head, 21 times in all. Marvelous! Marvelous. The video ends and it takes all of five minutes for a chill to finally run down my spine. The look on Charlotte's face, never seen it before. She had the kind of eyes you only see in the dead. Doll eyes, like a shark. Her looks, her behavior, the whole setting, it was all so fucking unreal. From that point on, these videos started getting sent to me regularly. The videos were always sent to my phone. I had no idea who was sending them, and I never got a reply. I'd get a new video every few days. Charlotte kept on fighting all kinds of people. Each time, she'd always land the finishing blow. I started to realize something after watching all of these videos. My daughter had become some woman I didn't know. Her name was Bad Girl. She was like an assassin doll locked inside some kind of unreal space. It was like she'd killed too many people 
and become this fictitious idol in an imaginary world. And it was that fucking asshole Travis who killed that idol. To be continued. No, I think we knew what happened after that. Court sense. Kind of thought Bad Girl would still be around in these. I didn't think she would have like one chapter that was the end, but okay. When Charlotte was about four or five years old, I used to call her Charlie. Charlie? I don't know why I went Charlie. Like Charlotte, obviously. That was about when I taught her how to swing a bat. Listen up, Charlie. I'm still going with Charlie, I don't care. We need to find the center of the bat. Feel around and find the bat's core. And find the core of the ball, too. Slam the cores together and that ball will fly for miles. You could even knock it to the moon. Wham, bam, right to the moon. Learn to find the center. Okay, try swinging the bat. The final video was sent to me on a humid summer night. I can't remember how many I'd gotten at that point. But every time I'd get one, I'd automatically grab my phone and watch it. Probably a lot, right? Bad Girl was uh, up there in the ranks, so she would have been a top contender. What the hell else was I supposed to do? So feeling like I had the top quality hangover, I grabbed my phone and glued myself to the screen. Just like Bad Girl, I turned into a junkie. Was he sent the one with Travis? Probably. I wonder who was sending it then. Or Bad Girl had like an automated system. I assumed she was sending it. When the final video started up, I saw Travis. It only took me a few seconds to figure it out. This asshole called Travis was going to win this fight to the death. It's kind of interesting to think that like... The match was already decided early on, meaning Bad Girl was gonna die. You got any fucking clue how hard it is to watch your own kid get killed? Probably pretty difficult, even if that kid had turned into someone else. Everything happened someplace else, a place where there wasn't jack shit I could do about it. Inside the screen of my phone. Do you even have kids? Wherever, doesn't matter anyway. You talking to me? Travis was overwhelming. What was he? I think I backed off a lot during that fight. Even if the battle itself was pretty close, he really had this unique presence. Travis' touchdown was a kind of hero. Bad Girl was an eccentric villain character. The video made that much painfully clear. And then Bad Girl was dead. Her death just didn't seem real. At that moment, I thought maybe this world itself was some kind of fucked up simulation. Yeah, I know. Everyone tries to escape reality when faced with shit they don't want to deal with. It was the same when her mom died. And now with my daughter gone, I was all alone again. I no longer had to work to provide for my family. So there was nothing left for me anymore. Except for revenge. Then, I thought about a few things, simple questions that anyone would have had. What exactly made Charlotte turn out like that? Who sent me all those videos? Were they the one who t took Charlotte away, got her all fucked up like that, and then locked her up in that weird ass world? And for what? I got no idea what their motivations were, but it was definitely someone who knows me. And I'm thinking you can fill in the blanks for me. Right, Grico? To be continued. Number six, change. So this should be the last one. I'm appreciating learning more about Batman. I feel like that was something that we were really missing from the main game. So I can talk now? Well, it's my turn to tell you something. Your story is interesting enough, but you're misunderstanding a few things. First, as you know, I work as a headhunter. I scope out good recruits and refer them to the organization. Sometimes I even dabble in HR development. 
Assassins are especially sought after. There are several types of assassin. You, Birkin, are the slightly atypical psychopath type. You've really got a knack for killing. You don't seem to remember. That incident at the batting cages. Something happened there. Was he on the ceiling for real, like an animal? At the time, you were all tied up to a chair, much like I am now. You took deep balls to the face from the pitching machine, and then seemed to have passed out. But just as the next ball came flying in, you stood up suddenly. And caught the ball barehanded. Okay. I don't even know how you got out of the ropes that were tying you down. Yeah, how did you do that? He went into rage mode. You grabbed a bat and lunged at the pitching machine. You were howling. Everyone was shocked, and they ran after you. They really beat the shit out of you. Your abnormal behavior freaked everyone out. Mosca turned green and just stood there, petrified. That's how intense your explosive energy was. It took those guys ten full minutes to knock you out. You had stopped moving, but you still had a pulse. Mosca tried to finish you off, but I stopped him. Add a bit of a revelation. Sometimes this sort of thing just happens. A special ability suddenly springs into bloom. Your violent nature and skills became fully apparent in the hospital room when you beat Mosca to death. That's when I decided to headhunt you. But then I met an even more impressive wonder kind. That's right, your daughter. I first met Charlotte while you were still basically just a vegetable in that coma. She was still in her teens, and she had your eyes. Doll eyes. Years later, while you were away from home working as an assassin, I made contact with Charlotte and tested out a little experiment I'd been wanting to try. I kidnapped her and brought her face to face with the fear of death. Her being a lady and all, there was no way I was going to damage that pretty face with the pitching machine. Plus, it was a bit of a hassle anyway, so I used an electric chair for my experiment instead. I sat her down and hit her with voltage that would almost, but not quite, kill her. I was hoping that a near-death experience would help bring out her true abilities, as it did with you. The results were astonishing. Something that had been dormant deep down inside her, something terrifying, had awakened. Being your daughter, she had your eyes and blood, but being so young, she was also very pliable. Her skills surpassed even yours, and she was faithful to her instincts as well. It was Charlie herself who said she wanted to get in on the ranked assassin battles, you know. She also asked me to film her while killing. Now don't be too surprised, but she also asked me to send you the videos. Okay, well, th that that lets us know what happened. More or less it was just Charlotte sending them, though. Just, you know, do a different source. I think she simply wanted your praise. There's no way to be certain now, of course. That final movie, however, even I was somewhat conflicted about sending it to you. But losing Bad Girl saddened me. Believe me, that much is true. To think that Bad Girl lost in battle and lost her life. I wanted to tell you myself so that you could share my feelings. That's really all I wanted. Is that so? Can I say something? What is it? You're the psychopath, pal. Wow, got him. Oh, I won't deny my own abnormalities. But then again, everyone has something abnormal about them. Don't you think? I'm gonna split your fucking head open in a minute. This is revenge, so there's no other way about it. After I kill you, I'm gonna kill Travis. I guess that's just the natural flow of things since I've been captured and tied up like this. But Travis isn't going to be such an easy kill. You're going to have a rough time there. What I don't get is, why does all of this sound like such total bullshit? None of this seems real. Am I actually dead or what? Either when the truck got shot up, or when I took those balls to the dome in the batting cage. Did I just up and die during one of those times? That, or maybe I'm still alive and this is the ICU and I'm seeing some kind of deathbed nightmare. I understand how you feel. 
I too sometimes feel like this world is some sort of virtual reality. What if it is though? Oh my god. You know how people talk about fate? I feel like so many strange coincidences just line up so perfectly, and things happen as they're meant to. It makes me feel like there's someone behind the scenes pulling all the strings. Or like I've seen the Grim Reaper himself. It sure is some helpful shit. How about we finish up this game? What the hell is up with all this frustration? All this killing for jack shit. Fuck this. Fuck all of this. Oh yeah? Next up... Travis Touchdown. And the black dog lurking in that asshole shadow. Yeah, but like, you showed up and then teamed up with him, like, immediately though. Alright then. Time to go kill the shit out of that dickhead. I like the little music sting at the end. That was okay. I appreciate knowing more about Batman there. Learning why he has the weird face thing on. At least he has an excuse. I think in Nier, Papa Nier just wanted to put on a face... Like, mask thing. So, we don't really know how he, um... I did look it up, and it is that uh, guy at the beginning was from Killer7. We don't really know how Batman got associated with that. Maybe, like, um... I, like, that was a debt thing, though. I don't know. What do you think, Bad Dog? Yeah, I agree. Alright, uh, we will... I want to see something, because, uh... I did try to use the Travis transformation skill, but it takes a long time to charge. My hope is you have that on right now. Good. I can't co op at the moment. I don't think this will work like I want it to, but I'm going to try my best. Uh, we'll do coffee and donuts. Co-op settings. I'm hoping that what this will do is uh, have all of our things already charged. Because the uh, Travis transformation takes years to charge up. And I need to make sure I'm actually holding the controller correctly. We want... Master? No. No. Ah! It's difficult. I'm having difficulties. There we go. I've, I've figured it out. We can start the game now. It's hard for me to register that the, um, the buttons are different because the controller is supposed to be held differently. So I still like think in my head like, yes, that is the A button and I would be pressing the A button. This might be a little bit of a problem because I don't know if we can get the, um... I don't know if we can use the skill while we're in the mansion itself. No. Ah, I'm doing it again. No. Hitting wrong buttons. It's fine. Also, yeah, um, apparently with these load screens, if you mash the A button, you can get money if you, uh, can get the whole screen to be black. I just wasn't sure if that was one of the screens, because I've also seen the, um, the, like, static be a bit different looking. Anyways, I wanted to at least show off the Travis transformation. Because it's a fun little cutscene, and... Travis is still needing to charge, which is weird. Good thing is I can... 
I can still use the skills in here. Um, I'm gonna just wait until until Travis's charges up to show this off. This shit takes forever to charge up. Uh, so I think it's a screen clear kind of thing. Cause I need just a, like a little bit of this and a big blam. So it can probably kill the whole room because it, it's like I did. I wasn't keeping track of the time, but I think it was about like more than five minutes for that to charge up. So it like wouldn't really be a um, viable option to completely wipe something. I guess it would have been a good idea to look at how it works in a boss. Oh my god, I cannot do this to save my life. Co-op. Yes. Part of the problem, too, is I'm defaulting in my head to uh, PlayStation's X button being the confirm button. So even if I'm trying to do it right with the controller to the side, I'm still doing it wrong. So let's go to Play Badman ball. so we can see what Badman has to offer. We will get rid of Travis Formation because it's a garbage skill. The transformation sequence is fun, though. I did just want to show that off because I was curious and it's it's silly the problem is when I did it before when I was planning to show it off I had a I was going to uh, just use the switch recording feature but apparently you can't record in this which is kind of weird oh I actually should not have gone in there's ah I might, I might back out. I'm gonna back out real quick. So, the reason I want to kind of stop for a minute is because, um, actually I don't have the thing equipped either. That's gonna be a problem as well. We'll get rid of the, um, skull and crossbones. I, like, that, that's exactly what I thought it was. You, uh, just place this guy and he'll probably shoot enemies so it's not like I don't think I ever like showed it but just to see what exactly it does there there it is uh, triple crown is what we want so the reason I want to wait and this will take a little bit to charge up but uh, I guess we'll look at the baseball first baseball will um, projectile that we can actually knock around as a ricochets. Did it disappear on itself? Is it gone? Yeah, it left real quick. You can um, knock it back and forth, and I think Travis can still interact with it, so in co-op it's pretty neat. And in this, we drink to get drunk. And I think it can charge up to three times and it'll raise our attack stat, but there's a chance that it'll immobilize us and make us uh, not have such a good time. Travis, maybe that's where it went, it went off screen. Um, so the best thing I would imagine with Batman is to try to charge us up to three and then just run through the rest of the level with the Good risk. Do we dare risk a third one? My hope is that this stays intact when we go into the boss room. If it doesn't, then what was it all for? Also, I don't think this like heals or anything. I think all it does is the. Uh... Fuck off! There we go. Knock it. It bounces all over the place. It seems cool. The baseball seems like it's kind of a neat interaction. I can we get a third. Nope. So we can't move, so we're vulnerable when that happens. And that's no good. Right, I want to at least get one going. Maybe risk it too. I don't think you actually hurt your partner when you hit them. 
Although it does uh, mess up your battery life. In this case, it's beer. Kinda wish the uh, battery symbol was different for the characters. I also just like the animation that Batman goes through. I do think it's funny that his is like getting a drink. I think that's a good one. I like that one a lot actually. I would assume maybe the first go would be have um, a low chance of screwing up. Is it? It's like he is drinking, but it's like he's shaking it up. I don't know. I'm not positive exactly what's happening. Travis, let me hit you a couple more times. I'm doing this for science, Travis. So you can see, like, the basic attacks are all the same. Alright, we'll stick with that. Oh, he spits on the... Oh, he drinks and then he spits on the bat. Okay. That makes sense. I have learned. Come on, can we get the money? I don't think it's a lot of money, but if I had kept doing this, it would have been worth it, I think. Ah, uh, not quite. Oh, wait. It kind of, like, froze on me. I don't think I got it, even though it was all black for a second. I don't really even know why I decided to do this one with Batman. Who are you? His name's Batman. I'm an assassin. Just got here. I like his uh, portrait, though. Have you come to kill me? Depends. Stay alive or get killed. It's up to you. Why have I returned? Did you do this? Nope. Some otaku dickhead with funny glasses called Travis. He did it. Why? I was seeking death. I'm tired. I just want to die. May look like murder. And your little murder was solved. I like that. That's the thing. Is a lot of these are kind of the same. That dickhead Travis should have just left it alone. You goddamn fool. I just said it wasn't me, asshole. Oh, agrees a goddamn fool though. It kind of was you. Didn't Batman say did I do something wrong? Like he was the one that was involved. You worthless little punk. This old bastard is a waste of time. He's too fu- Draw your sword and I'll put you down like a dog. Fine. It's a bat, though. I'll bury you myself, you crazy-ass sun-dead geezer. Dad, it's showtime. So I, I, I don't know if I would even say this is enough for, like, me to play about here. It definitely seemed like Travis got more out of talking to these people, but maybe I chose the wrong boss fights to go against. Uh, looks like we did not keep our... Boost. Did my bomb not go up? Or did it drop somewhere else? This is a good arena for the bat, though. I'll tell you what. Do 10 damage on one hit with our current beer. I really want to. Okay. Well, now we have none. So let's see. We do nine. So it's like one fifth. Obviously, it would be a lot more if we. Uh... There you go. It would be a lot more if we uh, ended up using heavy attacks. Cool. Dodge out of the way there. So he does like a little bit more of a shockwave looking thing. I'm dying. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. More beer? Yeah, more beer. Ooh. I really want to release attacks. I don't think that's going to carry over after death. Just wanted to see how much more damage. Probably one. Probably isn't great that I'm wasting my lives here. Good thing is, you're not going to really run away. But... So, like, that bomb is going to do wonders. Now I'm playing seriously. 
Oh, and then the Titan showed up. Good vomit. I don't know. I, I, at the very least, I think Batman stuff is interesting. Oh, good. Although, like, I, I feel like none of the character-specific ships are really worth it enough to, like, care about shifting. Like, because, again, the dialogue itself doesn't seem that much more unique. Did he take damage from the fire? Because he was over there? I didn't actually look and see. Ah, we're done. Victory. Oh no, but we're not done yet. But, uh, he's kind of a punk when we're in this phase. Uh, I wanted to use an R to finish him. Oh, look at the spikes to show up. I like the spikes on the bat. That's cool. You win. So it's like, it's fine. It's neat that the characters kind of have some bonus stuff. But like overall, I don't think it's that big of a deal. We'll see if he has anything else interesting to say after this. You were easy on me, punk. I'm older than you seem to think, and I don't go easy on you either. It was tough enough taking your crazy old ass out. You got good eyes, boy. Dangerous but good. Seriously, I'm not no goddamn boy. Guess I'm just wasting my breath. That was fun. I had a good life. Goodbye, punk. You were batshit crazy, but you were a funny guy. R.I.P. Old man. Seems like a lot of it is um fitting the character-specific dialogue into what the boss already was saying. I don't think he said it. Uh, uh, Dr. Juvenile White Sheep said anything new there. I wasn't really paying attention. I figured we were done because Batman wouldn't say anything after that. But there's those characters. I'm probably going to try to avoid leveling up Travis as we go through the actual new campaign thing. Campaign might be a wrong word. I think it's going to be like a new death ball. But uh, I'll probably try to my best to avoid leveling up him up unless if it feels like I need to. So we can uh, save that experience for the bonus character, which is not going to really be that much of a surprise. If you care, spoiler-ish, but I it's bad girl. Like, the DLC image is Bad Girl, so my assumption is going to be once we finish this campaign, we'll fix the bad dog problem. Which is going to be a bit of a shame, because bad dog is just so goddamn cute, look at it! Look at his little bad dog! 